Hi, Ben Norman here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how you can create an SEO strategy for your e-commerce website in just five simple steps. So starting with step number one, research. We need to understand what keywords do we want to go after? What keywords are we currently going after? What, who are our competitors based on those keywords and based on what market we're in and what we're selling? What are they currently doing? What keywords are they currently going after? So we basically want to research not only the keywords and our goals and what we're trying to go for. When we look at the individual products, you want to map the individual products that you're going after to their individual goals and individual keywords. You also want to do competitor analysis for each of those products and understand on a product level who are those competitors? What are they currently doing? How are they currently getting those top ranking positions? Because the more data that you can garner at this point and understand what kind of number of links they've got driving into those individual products, does it all just go into the main site? You know, how is it um, structurally built? How, is there, how are the links filtering through to those individual product pages? How are they optimized? What keywords they're going after? How have they built their content? All of this needs to be done in the research phase. We're able to then pull all of that research together to put our overall strategy document in place so that we know on a site level and also a product and category level, the keywords that we're going after, and what the individual goals of each of those pages are. So once we've completed all of that, we're able to move over to step number two, which is audit. So the auditing is auditing our website. We want to do a full audit of that e-com website. So for this, like something like SCM Rush that I constantly go on about, you can use that to basically do a full audit of your site. It will come back and tell you the technical issues, um, and just the various different issues that are happening throughout your site and you'll be able to see from that what you need to fix in order to get it into a much better standing. Um, you can also use things like Google Search Console, look at your current data, cruel issues and things like that. All of this needs to be done. You want to audit your entire site so that you've got a kind of step-by-step -step list of all the things that need to be completed in order to get it into a good standing. So before we go on to the next point, I'd love to know, do you run regular technical SEO audits on your website? Yes or no? Let me know in the comments below and let's move on to point number three, which is on-page optimization. You now want to go through and either have those on-site issues fixed or fix them yourself. You want to go through and make sure that based on the keywords that we're now going after, for the um, overall site and the individual products, you want to go through and optimize those pages based on those keywords. This also involves looking at the on-page content of those pages. Is it relevant? Does it include the keywords? You know, should it be better? Is it converting? You know, it can involve rewriting content of different pages so that it is better optimized, it flows better, it includes other relevant keywords that Google would expect to see alongside those keywords. This is the time to basically go through, get all your ducks in a row and make sure that those pages are as optimized as they can be. Now, top time saver here, if you have got a very large site and a lot of the sites follow a very similar format where the products are pulled in. You will be able to optimize things like your product descriptions and your titles based on the product names, product descriptions, things like that. So you also want to look at what clever things you can put in place here to automatically optimize your titles and descriptions based on various different product fields you may have, such as what the product is called and things like that. This can speed up and save you a lot of time. However, the blanket approach will save you a lot of time, but if you really wanna get the full value from each of these products, then you should be going back to the first stage, running your keyword research for each of those products, working out what keywords you're going for, also looking at who your competitors are for those keywords, what they're doing, and getting the information from that because the more effort you put in in tailoring each of those pages to those specific keywords, the more chance you have got for ranking for each of those individual pages. 
Point number four, off-site. Now I'm talking now about link building, building links into the site, working on boosting uh, our overall website authority, having it seen as much more of an authority within your niche, and we're gonna do that by building links into the website. Now there's various different ways that you can do this. You can utilize content marketing and create really good resources, guides, infographics, a whole host of different assets that you can then place on your website and then do outreach in order to get people to kind of link into your resources. Um, you can also do content marketing that goes on other people's site um, that then they then link back to your site as the crediting link. Obviously, if you are doing this based on things like product pages and things like that, there might be things that are relevant to that product that you can do to encourage links through to those individual product pages. It will all depend on the individual goals and what the product is and what content you've got on that page. You can also do things such as um, surveys. You know, surveys are really good if you can get data together to outreach to people like journalists. Um, and the news, you know, they are always looking for stories, they're always looking for data. So if you're able to include something really cool and outreach to um, the news outlets, you can also um, canvas some good links back to your site that way. And obviously being the news, the media, they're seen as very credible links. So this can be very useful um, in order to build your kind of link profile up and have your website being seen as more as, of an authority within your industry. And moving on to step five, which is rinse and repeat. We want to track our ranking. So for this, we can use SEM Rush, we can use AccuRanker, tools like that to constantly monitor our, rank, monitor our rankings. We can also use tools like SEM Rush to constantly, um, you know, every month monitor our technical SEO and our on-page SEO, run audits to see what's going on on our site, what's changed, what needs updating you know, what products have been added that need optimizing, things like that. We need to be running, obviously, reports so that we're able to see what the progress is, what's being done, look at what's working, what can we learn from that, look at what's not working, what's the difference, what do we need to do to re-optimize that, to get that moving further. And basically, we're then just going constantly through this process of then analyzing, auditing, re-optimizing, tracking, and we just follow it around, and then we're working on the areas that need to be worked on. So, you know, if you've got some pages that are doing really well, you probably don't need to focus on those as much, as long as they keep holding their rankings, whereas ones that might see a drop off, you need to look at why, and then work to re-optimize those to get those rankings back. So as always, I hope you found that video useful. If you're new, consider subscribing. If you've liked it, make sure you hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next video.